Angelina and Tiago. So today we're going to teach the so-called roasted chicken or also rotisserie turn. Um, if you didn't see the last classes about the pro and the dive, you should better go, go watch it. back to those classes because that's the basic of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm watching you. You need to watch them first and then come here, right? Okay. <laughs> roasted chicken is this one here. Mm, uh, 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 uh. We do it again. <laughs> so the roasted chicken is this one. We're gonna use the same entries from the lançamento, but now we're gonna keep turning, keep the momentum going, and then we have different options to get out of the movement, but we're gonna first talk about how to lead and follow the, rot the rotisserie turns, okay? Okay, so talking about the footwork for the followers, it's pretty simple. So now we're going to turn. Simple. Yeah, the footwork itself is simple. <laughs> the hard part is to combine it with the upper body, okay? <laughs> so I have a beautiful cross here that, that I'm going to use if the camera girl says it's okay. And what we're going to do is, you're going to turn on your left leg and we're going to turn left words. So that's why we're staying on the left and going front with the right. Turn, turn. Turn. So imagine you have a. Um, so imagine you have a chewing gum underneath your left shoe. So you can turn your leg and your foot, but you can only stay on the spot. Okay. And what I do, I keep my right leg once to my right side, once to my left side. So now you here you can see the black line. I'm going once here, once there, once here, once there more or less so this is not a rule but it's something that helps me okay and last thing about your standing leg about your left is remember to keep your heel going frontwards okay so you need this outside outwards rotation with your legs in order to have a stable turn you can bend the left knee this will make life easier maybe maybe not if we want to combine this now with the upper body it's going to be a bit hard to do it by ourselves but we're going to start with the lanzamento, so chest up, you go with the chest up and down, and up and down. So imagine you have your roasted chicken stick here, and you go up and down and up and down. I'm going to talk about the spotting later a bit more, but for now to practice this one, you could either spot down and up, so that's what I do right now, spot up, spot down, spot up, spot down, or you can try to only spot this, um, the down part, okay, so only spot the floor. This is what happens when the turn gets quicker. Then I try to spot downwards and down again, okay? So this would be another option. Um, so I think this is it for the technique. Remember about using the sides as well, okay? So opening the side parts as we taught in the other classes. And now let's see how we're going to do it with lead and follow. All right, so leaders, the idea now is to keep the momentum going. Remember what we did on the other classes? Her halo that normally is here is gonna be now diagonally. So I need to respect this, this position. So as we said before, I'm gonna use the same preparation from the lançamento. Remember now you're learning with Thiago and Julinha, maybe some other teachers use another uh, uh, entry for this movement. We use the preparation for the lançamento and now my idea is not only to turn on the spot, but I wanna keep moving to my right side. So I wanna to keep turning this way. This is gonna help her to keep having this momentum. So I imagine I have like a hula hoop, you know? <laughs> And I'm using left and right to give her this, this rotation. So I'm using now my tilting as well. I'm going to turn. And now I'm going to keep moving on this direction. Doom, 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 doom. For the first exit, we're going to use the contraction to come up, all right? So for my footwork, you can just go crossing back and open, crossing back and open. You can do just step and open, step and open. After, if you are doing a good work here, 
you can change your footwork. You can go forward, you can change to go backwards, but the easiest way for me is to go crossing back open, back open, but you can cross forward or you can go just going step and open, step and open, okay? You're gonna feel what is better for you. Talking about footwork quickly, followers, so this one is now up to you. If you go once per side or if you need more steps with the right leg or if you just need one and turn around completely, <laughs> this one is on you. The more speed you get in the turn, the less you will need your right leg. Okay? Yeah. Important is that your chest is always showing to your follower. So I'm not moving my chest here. I'm with my chest to my follower. And for me, it helps a lot to use my right hand. So my right hand, just like in a normal turn, I have my right hand on her shoulder blade. And then when I turn, I slide to her, uh, help me, waist, waist. waist. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then slide again to the shoulder blade. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna shoulder blade, gonna put my hand on the shoulder blade, slide, slide, and keep sliding. So I'm keeping this line as long I'm turning her. And when I want to finish, I can decide to put my hand for this exit on the shoulder blade. All right? So these arms gonna keep moving continuously giving this rotation, rotation, rotation. For the beginning, do this slowly, okay? It's important to keep the momentum going, so don't stop. Uh, if I stop, it's even harder for her. If I do like stopping, it's even harder. You wanna keep uh, the momentum going and moving, 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 moving. I can speed it up, but this is another footwork uh, as you probably saw it, she was spinning a whole turn in one foot. Not necessary, necessary what we want right now. Today. Today, okay? So, again, you're gonna do lateral, the preparation to the lunge, lunge, lançamento, and now you keep going with her. When she's going to the contraction, you're gonna come down, and up. Remember, you use this magnet principle, so my hand is here and she's gonna follow. I'm using this left hand as well, so I have many different points of connections to show her that I'm coming up using my legs and not my arms, all right? So also to go down, he also goes with his legs and I feel it in, in his body that he yeah. wants me to stay down. For me, it's like I'm going to, to hunt <laughs> because I'm following, I'm following this movement the whole time. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I use another exit, but I'm going, I don't know why I feel like this, but I, it's like I'm going to, to hunt and always going after my prey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Julinia. Okay, what so else? I have one, some more advices for the followers regarding the spotting right now. Yes. So if you are doing it together with your leader, you have three options, okay? So maybe the easiest one is to spot your right hand, okay? So as the leader is leading you on your right hand, you can always spot your right, always have your chest where your arm is. Remember to use the sides as well, okay? Close the left, open the right open the left, close the right, and so on, until you get here. And then this will also help, help you with your frame for the explosion part, okay? Um, that's one possibility which is super simple. The other two I mentioned already, but I'm going to show you together with a partner. You could also spot up and down, up and down, and so on. But I prefer to only spot the floor because then it will give even more motion to the movement because your head will be turning slower and then faster than your body. Let's see if that makes sense for you right now. So I'm going to spot the floor. As long as I can see the floor, I will look at it. And then as soon as I cannot see it anymore, my head is going to turn super quick to see it again. So my head right now is turning more slowly than my body, slower than my body, and now quicker than my body. And this gives the movement another look. And this spot also helps you to accelerate the turn, okay? So you can try out which one you like more. All three are possible. Yeah. 
remember for the exit, we are doing this movement. It is not anymore this slow quick quick pattern because you are doing this continuously. But remember, when you get out, I want you to get out here on the strong beat, okay? On the one, the three, the five, or the seven. And now for the exit, we just came up so I can prep. I have a rotation to my left. And then, for example, right turn, left turn, okay? Shouldn't be uh, hard for you if you're doing the head movement uh, classes is because you are from intermediate to advanced or advanced, so the exit shouldn't be a problem. All right? So you should know your basics. Yeah, at the least beginning. on this one. At least on this on this exit. Do you want to talk about the other exit? Yes. Yeah? 